What is the best meal frequency for fat loss? Some people believe that you need to eat smaller, more frequent meals to stoke the metabolic furnace, which can essentially result in people checking their watch to eat every couple of hours. Ooh, 6 p.m., time for my 19th meal of the day. Mmm, my metabolism is gonna be so high. Now recently it seems like the pendulum has swung in the other direction, and more people than ever are deciding to intermittent fast or even consuming just one meal a day. Ooh, 6 p.m., time to eat my entire daily food intake in one go. So, what is the truth? This stoking the metabolic furnace thing does actually have some scientific basis. Some observational research has shown that there is an association between a higher meal frequency and a decreased risk of obesity. What this essentially means is researchers look at dietary information from a large group of people and identify trends. However, this type of data is not good for drawing firm conclusions. Authors noted that people who consumed a higher number of meals per day also tended to have healthier diets, which of course could be a confounding variable in the result. It is also possible that when people reported what they ate, this isn't representative to how they ate the rest of their lives leading up to that. So to assess whether meal frequency has a direct impact on body composition, you need control for other variables. If you want to see whether giving someone smaller, more frequent meals raises their metabolism, you can put them in a room, monitor their calorie expenditure, and give them precisely controlled meals. Like this study comparing three versus six meals per day in a room calorimeter. Or another which tested three versus 14 feedings which involved eating on the hour almost every hour. Now whilst these studies are short they are allowed to be meticulous. If you monitor someone's calorie burn over just a 24-hour period it does allow you to give them precisely controlled portions of food which is obviously difficult in longer term trials. Then of course you have the more obvious research. Take two groups of subjects have one of them consume a lower meal frequency and the other one consume a higher meal frequency. And at the end of that trial, rather than monitoring just energy expenditure, you measure actual body composition changes, like this study comparing three meals per day to six meals per day. Alternatively, you get one group of subjects, get them to follow a diet, and then cross over into a diet with a different meal frequency, like this study which compared one meal to three meals to nine meals per day. So the thing with meal frequency research is it's really fucking mixed. If you look at review papers on the topic, you will see that some studies compare one versus three meals, three versus six, one versus nine, two versus four, and loads of other variations like that. And the results of these trials have also been very mixed, which is why reading one research paper and settling on that conclusion is not a smart idea. It would be like having a bag full of different colour balls, picking one of them out and assuming that all the other balls in the same bag are this colour. So, what can we actually conclude? One review paper did show that higher meal frequencies did result in greater body composition changes. However, this was fueled primarily by a single research paper, which casts doubt over the conclusions. Another review paper concluded that some meal frequencies might confer advantages versus other meal frequencies, but again stipulated that there was little robust evidence to form any firm conclusions. So in the absence of any really clear evidence, I think it makes sense just to pick your own based on personal preference. The idea that you have to eat smaller, more frequent meals to stoke the metabolic furnace isn't really true. Also, the idea that you have to avoid food for extended periods of the day to lose fat faster, that's not really true either. Now, for some people, they might notice that a reduced meal frequency is good for appetite control, which of course could confer an advantage when it comes to reducing calorie intake. But that isn't a universal effect. So, Pick whichever meal frequency you would like and stop dressing about it. Simples.